Hello and good morning everybody, it's Barbara Ann and welcome back to my channel, Straight Out of Context. As you all know, Netflix has recently done a documentary about 7M management, ran by Robert Chin, as well as Shekinah Church, and a few of the dancers that have left his church, and 7M management, as well as a person named Miranda Derrick and her husband, who are still church members and a part of 7M management. Um, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. That's where I'm at currently. They're from, she is from, her and her sister are from Detroit, Michigan. Coincidentally, as we all know, Katie Joy Paulson from Without a Crystal Ball has been trying to capitalize and monetize off of the newsworthiness of this Netflix docuseries, even though they did not include the other side very well at all. And they claim now that it was because everybody on the other side with their point of view and their opinions of the truth and what happened, their perspective, because truth, right, objectives versus subjective here, it is what it is. It's not people's personal opinions, but they did not include any of that. So Katie Joy Polson had a not even one second clip where they showed a whole bunch of content creators on YouTube and her face was on it for a second. You didn't hear her voice or anything, but she's claiming that she's done all the work. Well, we know since... What, January, February, March, April of 2022, Robert Shin. This is over two years ago now that 7M, Robert Shin, has sued Katie Joy from Without a Crystal Ball because she is a liar. She is a defamer. She is not out here exposing a cult. She's out here trying to line her own pockets and keep her, her husband, and her son in this really nice house that other people can't afford. And it's absolutely horrendous, the things and the levels that she will go to to obtain that. However, I just want to say really quick that this is the lawsuit. This is it. This is the amended version that was filed on 422. I'm sorry, 45. Hey, this is my mom's birthday, April 5th, 2022 at 9.36 a.m. is when this was filed. You can pause to read. This, again, is the amended summons. I'm going to go back again just in case if somebody wants to pause, but this lawsuit would not be happening if what he says doesn't have truth to it. There are very rarely people who use the justice system and the courts to further harass and abuse people, but that's not what's happening here. This is somebody sticking up for their civil and constitutional rights as they should. So next time people want to talk about Katie Joy Paulson and without a crystal ball, just remember this. Remember that she's being sued. Okay, just in case if anybody is interested, this is the entire court filing by 7M Films and Robert Chin against Katie Joy Paulson of Without a Crystal Ball. This was filed on April 5th, 2022 at 9.36 a.m. And if you want, you can look it up yourself. You can pay to download it or you can sit here, read, and pause it. I'll go through slowly because he very clearly... Um, lists every instant where there was a defamatory statement and defamatory is not just made up lies it's with malicious intent to harm somebody's reputation because you have civil and constitutional rights to your body your person your safety your personal space and your good name and of course infringing on somebody else's rights that's, uh, yeah, you have free speech, but you're not free. It, it doesn't cover, free speech does not cover defamation, libel, slander, harassment, stalking, lies, which means you made something up. You were not actually told it by somebody, and, and you are saying that you were told it by somebody, and you just made it up in your head that that is a lie. That is defamation. By the very definition, textbook definition and legal standard, that is defamation. So here they list all eight of these social media platforms that she is using. Oh, 
Let me see here. Okay, there we go. Here is where it gets interesting because these are on February 27th, 2022. Miranda Derrick was lured into a church. Of course, everybody jumped on the story because her parents and sister here in Detroit, Michigan had gone to social media. Uh, people had picked up on something not being right with the sisters because they had their whole dancing thing on TikTok and probably YouTube, whatever else they had. Don't quote me on that. But what's absolutely horrendous is Katie Joy pounced on this. The minute that she heard or saw any kind of news publishing or social media publishing anything about a cult, she jumped on it and said, oh, look at me. I've been covering this ever since. No, you're taking other people's publishings and trying to claim credit for what her parents and sister have said. You know, did you ever think that maybe a couple years ago she was 21, 22, 23 years old? I think she's, what, 24, 25 now? A couple years ago, maybe she's the better dancer out of the two sisters. Maybe she didn't want to dance with her sister anymore. Maybe she wanted to venture out on her own. Maybe she wanted to pursue her relationship and get married, which she has every right, civil and constitutionally, to do. And if she wants to be in a cult, she is allowed to be in a cult. If people want to do that and they choose to actively do that as a grown adult, they are allowed to. And you cannot, you cannot do this. This is just all the things that she has said. Not all the things that she has said. This is all the things that she has said at the time of this filing on April 5th, 2022. That was maliciously and intentionally defamatory towards 7M and Robert Shen. And they are suing her. It's not because she's some crusader on a mission to expose all cults, stop them all and tell the truth. No, because all the hundreds of thousands of dollars that she has made monetizing her YouTube channel in the last couple of years. Has it gone to building a three-quarter house to be able to house these people to get away from the ABUSE? Nope. Did she put it towards any kind of charitable foundation? Nope. Did she make a charitable foundation to try to help people get stable housing, stable food, stable employment, stable education, anything like that after leaving such places like a cult? No. No, so um, I don't believe it when she says that that's her mission was to actually stop these cults. Look at me, I'm just on the internet making videos all the time, making money, which is the number one motive on this planet is making money, right? Making money for herself. That's why she's on the internet doing these videos. She has to have some kind of content, and to create content, she's just pulling it out of wherever she sees it. You know, everybody else is doing that, jumping on everything that they see published. But that's, you know, eventually we're already seeing a decline in YouTube content with these people that are constantly covering um, celebrities. And, oh my goodness, the P. Diddy thing, the J-Lo career failure thing. I like all of it. And I do too. I'm no exemption to that, so I'm not being a hypocrite, but I'm just saying we're seeing a decline because there's so many more people now doing it. Like over 300,000 new people are doing that exact same thing. Anytime they see or hear anything related to that, they jump on and make, make a video because they're not creating content themselves. Everything has already been done. There is nothing new and extraordinary and unique and original and revolutionary that any content creator can come up with that has not already been done by a content creator before. Even climbing bridges and skyscrapers and doing all kinds of crazy daredevil stuff, bungee jumping, parachute, all of that, you can think of it, it's probably has already been done. So Katie Joy Paulson is, she found her little niche 
She's no different than the crazy Roma army who has had several baby daddies and abused them all, lied to them about being on birth control when she wasn't, forced them to be dads when they didn't want to, yet she's claiming that she's a men's right activist. Yeah, okay. Okay. She's using men to monetize her channel and to live because that check from YouTube is what pays all her bills. And she's on not only her fourth or fifth man after her son's daddy but another guy now and on top of that she says oh yeah i'm at fault because i did force him to have this kid but you go on and blame all these other girls and say all the shit about them about closing your legs and having an abortion and da, 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 da. you can't force a man to be a dad yet you do it yet you have done it over twice to two different people and she has verbally and physically abused them too because they are actually scared to come forward both of them and speak out against her because she is paying them over seventeen thousand dollars a month in child support because so if she's given that child support a month imagine what she's making roma army she's the phone camera content creator literally with just her phone and claiming to be a men's right activist. She, she's not as bad as Katie Joy Polson, but it is because all she's doing is trying to get all these men to say, look at this woman is so amazing. She's standing up for us. She's being logical. She's being sincere and honest. No, men don't need a woman to be a men's right activist. Men need other men to support men. And even though I am a men's right activist, I don't bash and degrade and belittle and slander and defame and dox other women in order to build men up because that doesn't make you look like a better person. It doesn't make you a better person. So it's the same thing here with, with Katie Joy Paulson and her content and the craziness of it all. But I just wanted you all to see the original filing since she is so gun ho and dead set on riding the coattails of the Netflix fame of the documentary and creating content with that, we're going to remind everybody that over two years ago, Robert Shannon 7M had sued Katie Joy Paulson. And this is why. The truth. 